Hello everyone. So in today's video I'm doing a book review and I'm kind of on a roll. I just filmed two other book videos, book review videos today because I realised on my channel I've been reading lots but forgetting to film and upload my reviews. So yeah I have a lot of reviews coming up. I don't know in what order I'm going to post them but I think I'm going to post this one first um, because literally last night I finished this book and it's a new release and from the title you probably already know it is The Sundial by Katrina Ward <laughs> might have butchered that name I think it's Katrina um, but yes and I got this book in not my last um, Abominable Book Club box but the one previous I think maybe the one previous before that but yes yeah, so this is a book that i got from a book subscription service um to be honest i'm not sure if i would have picked it up if um if i hadn't received it in the box purely because this writer she also wrote the last house on needless street which i have done a review on you can see it on this channel um but i if you've seen that review then you know i really didn't like the premise of that book i found that book really really disappointing so when I got this book, I was like, oh, that sounds really interesting. I love the cover. And then I saw it was written by, and I was like, oh, I hope it's not going to be similar to that one. Because I said I really didn't enjoy this book. So I think when I started reading this one, I almost went into this book with a bit of, um, a thought of like, oh, I'm probably not going to like this because I didn't like her other book. But I'm pleased to say I did like it a whole lot more than the other book. It's not perfect. But yeah, definitely, definitely rank this one higher than The Last House on Leeds Street. Um, the story of this one's very, very different, very, very different premise. Um, and it went to a really dark place at times. Um, so this book, The Sundial, it is about um, a mother and daughter relationship. Now, um this woman she's stuck rob her name's rob in this book she's stuck in not very happy marriage um but she's staying in the marriage because she loves her children she has two daughters and she loves them both but one of her daughters her eldest daughter she struggles very much to connect with and some dark things happen in this story and it comes to a point where she's like okay i need to um for safety myself and my family and for my daughters I'm going to take my daughter away off to the desert to her childhood home where she grew up and spend some time with her and see if she can connect a relationship with her daughter and make her daughter understand herself better and maybe try and understand her daughter better um, but it's quite a complicated story it flips back and forth between um, the mother's robs her present with her daughter and her past from where she grew up at Sundial um, with her um, a family there who were very very strange um, you don't really know what's going on until the last few chapters of this book um, she had a really strange upbringing and it kind of is reflecting back in her adult life um, yeah things you're not sure whether this is going to be at first I thought it was going to be like a, almost like a mental health theme in this book, like it was in her previous one. And it kind of was, but wasn't really. It was, her, she had a really disturbing upbringing <laughs> and she's now trying to better herself and she wants to be a good mother and she wants to make sure that the things she went through as a child, her daughter... Her eldest daughter isn't going to go through those things it's kind of really hard to talk about this book without having big spoilers in it and i really don't want to spoil it because as i was reading this book i really didn't know what direction it was going in and um the story at the time almost seemed a bit jumbled and didn't really make sense until you get further into the book and you're like okay she reacted like this because of this and this is happening because of this and um yeah it's a very bizarre story i enjoyed it a lot more than the other one like i said it did took a little bit of getting through i think i got about a quarter of the way in 
and I kind of stopped because I was like oh I think this is going in one direction that I was like mm, I hope it doesn't go in that direction not really feeling that and I kind of put it down for a while and then I would pick it up again and read a few more chapters and I was like okay this isn't going where I thought it was gonna go <laughs> this is going a whole somewhere else and then I kept reading um I found it difficult also because I didn't particularly connect with the main character Rob some of her decisions she makes you're like what is happening like what is going on she's kind of a frustrating character to read but all of them are in this book um you know like the daughter as well and then the husband who is just hate his character um but yeah you think like it kind of almost makes out where you're like is there something mentally wrong with rob or is she telling the truth and is her daughter really in danger or is her daughter the problem is her daughter the danger or is her daughter in danger from her you never really know um until it gets closer and closer towards the end but uh, yeah i enjoyed it i enjoyed it a lot more um i think it's made me actually want to read more by this author in the future um it was an interesting book like i said it's really difficult to talk about without giving a lot away and i don't really want to do that the relationships in this book are very complex and very complicated at times like i said you don't really know what's happening even with the characters like when she's talking in the past about her parents you're not really sure who they are or what they're doing or what their intentions are um more towards the end it kind of leaves a lot hanging but it does all wrap up um which i really really liked because that's something that annoyed me in the last book um in this one it does all wrap up in a very weird way <laughs> but it does kind of make sense there is like a an ending to this book um but yeah very very good and there were things like there's one thing particularly at the end that i really didn't expect and i was like oh and then when you think about it you're like oh okay um there's a lot of those moments in this book so very very intriguing i would recommend reading it um if you liked her previous work i'm telling you this is better this is better than her last book i read so if you liked her last book then i would say definitely give this a go it is darker than her last book it's more graphic and there are quite a few dark themes in this book that and a lot of things that i feel like could trigger people in this book um so be warned for that but yeah overall surprisingly enjoyed it so yeah that's kind of like my weird review of the sundial without trying to give too much away it was very cliffhangery throughout the book it was very i wouldn't say it was fast paced um but there was enough the story was so intriguing that even though i felt at times it dragged i really wanted to know what was going to happen at the end and um yeah i'm glad i stuck with it and i'm glad i did finish it to find out what happened because yeah it wasn't really what i expected so overall i would recommend it was a good review if any of you guys have read this and then let me know your thoughts down below or if you're planning on reading this then let me know the cover of this is absolutely beautiful i saw the american cover as well um, and i think that's really cool it was a really good cover but this one i just like how like simple it is but it also stands out so it has like this blue like dark bluey almost purpley background with like the orange foiling with the wolf and the or the coyote i should say and yes it says elegantly horrifying i agree with that it's horrifying at part uh, in parts so yes it says a wild twisted family gothic unlike any you've read before uh, but one you won't soon forget which is true and on the back it also says here even better than the last house on needless street which i agree with um dark and unsettling creepy and enthralling and yeah it was very it was bizarre but in a good way <laughs> as a horror reader so yeah that's my review so i'm going to stop rambling on about that and yes as always thank you for watching any comments down below let me know and yeah until next time bye guys